I met Emily in 1965. This was not long after she started Continuum, and I was a working jazz musician, and I was also a uh, teacher of something called epistemics, which is applied epistemology. One of my students, a young woman, said, uh, I, I want you to come to a performance. I've been taking this work called Continuum, and they're gonna do a, a performance. It's called the War Dance. I was astounded when I saw it. When I felt the movement, I said, this is what it must be like to be a woman. The movement was so astounding to me because it was both ordered and spontaneous. It wasn't choreographed from a predetermined pattern. It was coming from the inside out. But I wanted to meet her and I went backstage. And when I saw her, I was just, the impact on me was, I, I can't even put it into words. Her face just came into me in a way that I, I, I had no defense. It was the beauty of her beyond just the looks. And, but she was with someone at the time, but I didn't see her again for about another four or five years. One day I'm in a health food store in Sherman Oaks and I'm looking at something and I hear this voice behind me say, Gary David. And I turn around, it's Emily. Um, we got to talking and the, the talking really flowed. And at the end of the conversation, she said, I'd like you to play for my um, classes. I said, well, you haven't even heard me play. She said, I don't need to. I said, okay, well, I, I should go take a class so I can see what you're doing. She said, fine, I'm gonna be leaving town. So I'll put you with someone, one of my assistants and you can take a class. And I said, you trust me to play when you're not even around? She said, yeah. So that was the beginning.